So I want you to feel your seat bones. Do you feel both of them here? Yes. Okay. If there was a flashlight pointing down each of your seat bones, where would it point here? Where are the beams of light? Yeah, actually quite straight down. Very right. Mm -hmm. So now let's go hollow back. Where would the beams of light point? Yeah. Well, they would still stay in the same. They should know they wouldn't. If they were pointing off of the tip of your tailbone, I mean, not your tailbone, so sorry. they moved the, back a bit. Exactly. They would point out behind okay, you. So they're, mm -hmm. okay, I, I get what mm -hmm. you're saying. Okay. Now, round back. And your lights would probably point yes, forward, right? Forward. Yep. yep. So, okay, which would be more normal for you? Probably the straight. Probably a little bit back. Is it back a bit? Mm -hmm. okay. Because you would tend to tip just a little forward. Oh, yes. This yep. is always a problem. <laughs> so that would mean if you're if you're tipping a little forward, that your seat points are going a little, they're not quite attached okay. to the saddle. Okay. And the, the way their flashlights would point is out behind you just okay. a little bit. Which means I'm behind the... Yeah, you would the actually motion. be in front of the motion. Right in front of the motion. Mm -hmm. okay. So I want you to sit back just a little bit. That's straight up and down. That's what I call neutral spine. Mm -hmm. And your seat bones are pointing straight down and the beams of light are pointing straight down. That's okay. where you want to stay. So imagine there's a wedge of cheese under your knee. Okay. If your lower leg flips forward yeah. or open, yep. this wedge is going to fall Follow. out the back. Yep. So you want to hold this wedge in by co closing your thigh mm -hmm. and resist my push here. Yep. Yeah, it's not against her, it's just back. Feel the tendons popping? Yes. That tendon? Yeah. And that tendon, good. So I can feel both of them pretty well. Okay. So resist out once, yeah, not with your toes, with your ankle. Yeah, and you should feel the outer one even more. I do. Yep. Okay. So you want to hold that, yeah. so right, so if I did this to a 10, right, my max, your max, right, that's more than you need, okay. right? So okay. you resist this way okay. versus resisting uh, just straight out or straight back, because you might actually resist. If I did this one, this is an easy one probably. Yeah. Close it in. Sure. That's e everyone can do that right. one, right? It's this one it's <laughs> and this one that holds his tendons better. So just a little bit more back. Okay. So I want the shoulder, hip to ankle bone line. Okay. If you're in front of it, you're going to be a little bit chair seated and you're going to either tip forward to balance, balance that or lean back. Okay. So that might be part of the reason why you could tip forward. Okay. It's because if your lower leg is forward, you have to counterbalance that a little yes. bit. So hold the cheese wedge. This means your knee is bent. Wedge under your knee. Okay. Same thing on this one. So you've got a wedge of cheese. You're going to turn your toes in a little bit. You're going to resist my push. And this way. Good. Ten minutes pop. Now, did anything happen to your seat bones, your glutes there? Did they tighten at all? Yes. So release them. Sink down. Yeah, yeah. And do oh, this just with your thigh and there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't want to just tighten your glutes or else you'll pop yourself off the saddle. Okay. <laughs> and you'll go up that even more. Good. <laughs> okay. Nope. So glutes should stay relaxed enough that you stay down. Also, one more thing here. Don't let me pull you off. I shouldn't be able to get under there, but don't let me pull you off. Yeah. Okay. So hug the saddle. Keep that hug there. Okay. It's going to give you a lot of stability. So can I push on your collarbone? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push, and I want you to resist. Don't let me push you backwards. What's holding you here? Core. Good. Yeah. Okay. So can I push on your core? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push in, and I want you to expand and push me out. Okay. So I call this bear down, um, right. and I want you to... Feel like you're in a, yeah, can you breathe? Yeah. <laughs> yes, good job. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> good. That, but so th go okay. to your 10, your max, good. And now go to a one, right? It should be nothing. Soft, and now to a 10 again. Yeah, and a five, and breathe. Good, good. So that core needs to always be more firm than the hold on your reins. <laughs> and it always needs to be more firm than the force of the okay. horse going forward. So if your horse is powering on, you better be powering on in your core to match that, or you're going to pull because you're not balancing with your core, you're balancing right. with your hands. So, thighs attached. Think about your shins turning in. Like if you could almost roll your thigh Inward. around and have your thigh on that thigh block. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't even necessarily have to start with your toes turning in. But that's a byproduct of everything else it rotating feels in. feels like it is. And that's, is that okay? Yes, it's excellent. I like your toes to be in. I just okay. don't want you to just think about turning your toes in. Okay. Because otherwise that... Well, it kind of defeats the purpose. Well, if you just think about your toes, it's not really the, the issue. Is your, your foot is not really the issue. It's usually up here. And this is a byproduct of what's happening here. Got it. If everything is open here, this is all going to be open. You can't open here and then try to close down there. Right. You got to fix the problem up here. Okay. So here's this. A lot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and 
first off, what's your bear down number? Oh, zero. <laughs> okay. Okay, five. Okay, so you've engaged in your core is firm. Yeah. And then there's a hold on the rain number. 10 is the max you can hold, one is the least you can hold. What's the hold on the rain number? Three. Okay, so your core is stronger than your hold on the rain? Good. Now, where are those beams of light pointing out of your seat bones? I hope now. Now they are. Yes. You had to sit back a little bit. But you asked me. Yeah, after you thought about it. <laughs> yep. So you had to sit back a little bit. Yeah. So imagine you've got pockets in the back of your pants. I want you sitting on those pockets a little bit okay. because your tendency is to, if this is your bowl, if this is your pelvis, like a bowl, your tendency is to do that. Okay. And if you had water in this bowl, the water would spill out the front. So I want you to lift the front of the bowl up and sit the back of the bowl down so that you hold the water in. That's right, that's right, good job, good. And it all also goes back to just sitting on your pockets, but also thinking about the front of your pelvis needs to lift a little bit. If you could lift the, your, your, uh, your, um, the front of your pelvis towards your sternum a little bit, and then bring your sternum down a tiny bit towards your pelvis, yeah. Like an ab crunch, right? Yeah. Just a little bit of one as you still stay on your pockets. Good. That's right. Bring your elbows back and bend your elbows. Good. Kiss it back. Good job. Good job. Super. Bear down number? Uh, losing it. Three. Okay. Good. Okay. Five. Good. Yeah. And you look a lot more still here. So keep that stability in your core. You want to breathe and bear down the entire time. <laughs> I know. It's very easy to bear down strong and then forget to breathe. And a half a circle later, you're like, <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, good. So a little bit of pockets, a little bit of bear down. And I like the connection. You just keep a steady, fingers closed, steady, quiet connection. Good. Now, you can ask her to walk faster, but before you do that, I want to make sure your thighs are engaged, that your bear down is a little bit more firm, and then you say, let's walk on so that you're ready for her to react and go forward without you getting left behind or leaning forward to compensate. So you bear down more and then you say, walk on. If she doesn't listen to your leg, tap her with the whip. Yep, that's right. And you stay back. Well done. It's a very good defense mechanism to be able to lean forward to go, uh, right? But you don't want to do that all the time. You want to stay back a little bit and then send your horse up and underneath of you. It's a, it's a pretty natural, right? To, 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 to go forward when you want the horse to go forward. It may not be just defense, but it's, it's your body's natural way of saying, I'm not getting thrown off the back, right? <laughs> Do you have both of your seat bones on the saddle? Yes. Good, is one heavier than the other? Yes. Which one? The, the left one. Okay, could you get your right one on too? So if you're pushing with one heavier, there's gonna be a little bit of unbalance in your body. So you wanna try to close your seat bones together and it's not necessarily that you can actually move them closer together, but you're trying to do this with your body. That sort of makes sense. You're trying to push them narrower towards your spine yeah. and then keep both eyes attached so that you can um, keep both seat bones attached. Good. Bend your elbows though, right? Yeah. If you get straight in your arms, you're gonna lock against your mouth. That's right. Bear down number. Okay. Good. And just try to pick something that's a little more firm than what she's doing and you just stay there. So you don't have to just keep increasing it unless you start going faster. So when we go to trot here, you're going to have to increase a little bit more. So anytime you go forward, anytime you do a downward transition, you need to have more bear down for that. As you're thrusting here, how much weight's in your thigh and how much is in your stirrup? 40%. 40 in your thighs? Okay. Not enough, but... Is that, where would you normally be? Okay, so, so if you're at 40, that's a good change. Yeah. So you're slowly working to being 50, 50, 60, 40, 70, 30, and then 80, 20. So you just keep working that up and you thrust and you thrust and you thrust. Good. And notice when you thrust it a little bit more, she did go a little bit more forward. Imagine that, you know, like a hydraulic arm on a tractor, yes. like it yeah. pushes out and pulls back in. Yes. Imagine that you have two hydraulics, one under each seat bone. Okay. As you thrust up, you're pushing it out yes. and then or pulling it out, whatever, pushing it back in. Okay. Right? You don't, you don't want it. Energy both you're going, so you're going, pull it up, push it down. 
So you're going power. It doesn't just happen jing, 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 right? She could trot along and you could just post to her trot. And it might happen like, doo, 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 right? You can get a small trot. We want a big trot, so we're going to go big, big, power, so power. How does that feel? Is it like, I mean, okay, power, so you're powering up with all of this, but how do you power down? I guess you resist the speed of going You down. don't just flop down. You're going to okay, so that's take right. your step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab your hips here. Yep. You have a belt, actually, it's yep. perfect. I'll grab your belt. Yep. So thrust up. <laughs> yeah, and you want to, I'm gonna do it just gently, and I'm gonna try to pull you down, right? It's easy for you to come down, it's harder if you come sure. up. Go more up, all the way up, stand up there, higher, 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 like two point there, and I'm gonna try pulling you. So you're gonna go up there and resist. Don't let me pull you down. Yeah, oh, now God, come down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to hold that yeah. resistance, or your body weight just wants to just go down. Flop down. Okay. And we gotta, yeah. What it's doing for sure. Yep. Okay. And think about me grabbing your belt. Super. That looks a lot stronger. So keep the thrust and don't let yourself plop down. Yeah. You want to get to the top of that rise and you want to pause for a, just a tiny second so you don't splat back down. Or you, then you push the hydraulic arm down and up, down and up. Yeah. What's the percentage of weight in your thigh versus stirrup now? I would probably almost disagree with you. I think really? you got stronger. Okay. You might be lighter than you think okay. in your stirrup and stronger in your thigh than you think. So sternum points at her neck as you thrust up and over and you have the hydraulic rising, thinking about strength in your thighs, thrusting from your knee up and not your knee down. Yeah, good. I would honestly say that I think you're a lot stronger than you think you are in your thighs. They look a lot more still because if you were 100% in your stirrup before, you would be doing this every time oh, okay. and you're not. Good, okay. So let's change directions. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. And try to do a little rising trot with no stirrups. Oh, <laughs> so, this is why I don't take my shoes with us. <laughs> it will be a lot hard. I, be, I okay, believe <laughs> I don't want it very long, but I want you to get the feeling of what 100% is having to get up. So even if it's three or four steps, I don't care, okay. right? I just want you to go to a little sitting and then thrust up a couple steps. Okay. See how high you can get. You're going to have to wedge your knees up a little bit and hold on yeah. with your thighs. Yep. Okay. Ready? So when you get the feet, yeah, I'm ready. Bear down. Good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised yourself. How awesome I am. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Really good. Now, now sit and walk. And now put your stirrups back on. You're stronger than you think. So now that you, you did 100%, right? Now think about trying to do it with the stirrups at 80% and see what you can do. I think you're a lot closer to 80 than you thought. Bear down, keep your elbows bent. Good, keep your knees bent. Try not to push on the stirrups, just try to be there. Good, think about what it took to get up without stirrups. Good, yeah. Yeah, really good. Bend your knees a little bit, hold the cheese wedge. What's the percentage of weight here? Uh, 40, 50, 50. Okay, 50 in your thigh, 50 in your stirrup. Yep. Good, well done. So. Good, good, super. And walk and just tell me what you're feeling. Bear down, sit back. Yeah. I feel a lot more connected. Good. Yeah, you really should. I mean, when you're rising with nothing in your thighs and you're all in your stirrups, this is like, there's not much stability there. All of a sudden you get your thighs attached and you're going along and now you're going, this is my trot, right? right. And everything is all of a sudden happening because you're telling it to happen and you're in control. But also, I mean, see how she just up her Uh-huh. When you connect to her, she does. <laughs> You got your flashlight, you plugged in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so don't move yourself to get her as far as don't start doing this to get her to go faster. Sit still and imagine that your two seat bones are like an um, electrical plug in in a wall. Plug them into her back and try to stay. You, you can, like I told, I told Jackie, you're walking your seat bones. But like you get this plug in and you can walk them a little bit, but don't worry about that too much here. Think about plugging in and keeping that electrical energy from you into her back. Okay. I was a little too 
<laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So when you bear down and you plug into her, she goes, oh, it's time to go. Yeah. They, they, she pays attention. Yeah. Wow. Bend your elbows. Oh. Yes. There you go. You know, this is going to be a really good tool for you. Halt right there. Halt here? No. So short. And grab your reins like you would hold one normally. Mm -hmm. And you're going to grab this and hold yeah. on to that. Keep it off of her neck. Just hold it in one spot. So think about your bear down. Think about your, your uh, flashlights. It's very good. But you're holding the weight of the cube and keeping the same rain connection you had earlier. Good job. What do you feel? Uh, my bear down is good. Yeah. My sternum is down. Yeah. My, what about my leg? It could have a tiny bit more cheese wedge. So bend your knees a little bit more. Heels back. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay. Take this to sitting trot. Just hold the cube steady, steady, steady. Not necessarily up, but just off her neck. Sit back a little bit. There you go. Bend your elbows. Yeah, you want to keep your elbows like they're heavy elbows. Keep them down, 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 down with your elbows. What's your bear down number? Five. Good. Yeah, sit back. Get those flashlights down, hold your thighs, and bend your knees. Sit back a little bit more. There we go. But just because you sit back doesn't mean you should push your hands more forward. Keep those elbows back. That's right. I really like the fact that your hands are not pulling back, but you could give them away too much. Good. Good. Elbows back. Heavy elbows like you're pulling your shoulders down. That's right. That's okay. And you can walk and halt, and I'll take the, the cube from you. Let me see the stick really quick. Mm -hmm. Lift up your armpits and hold it there. So these back armpit muscles need to engage more. Okay. So which engages your shoulders into your, into your back. And I don't wind up doing this. Mm -hmm. no. But you do this, right? You just let this oh. open. So this happens and I want this Done. to close and come back. Okay. Yeah. Like so. So, huh? Exactly. Okay. So if you were to ride, which is a really good tool to do is um, garden dowels that are about oh, this long. Yeah, yeah. If you were to ride with one under each armpit, that would be and then you'll helpful. find one goes like this, one goes like, where are they at? You have so to have a good, tell you. a good steady horse for it. But, um, but they're about, tell you where you're because as you're riding and you're loose in the back, this is gonna happen. Okay. Or you're too close in the back, right? Most people do this and it ends up they, they cross okay. one or the other. But yeah. that's a good thought for you to think about. Can you put garden dowels and can you hold them when you ride. One other thing to think about with your elbows that might help that is imagine you're carrying like a heavy purse. Okay. And it should weight your elbows, elbows down, down. Okay. because otherwise they just do this. Okay. So weighted elbows, heavy elbows, close the back armpit muscles. Okay. Sit on your pockets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So bear down. What's your bear down number? Five. Okay. Are your pockets pointing down? Seat bones pointing down? T sit a tiny bit back. There we go. Thighs attached. Heavy elbows. Back armpit muscles closed. Good job. That made you more still. Good. Are you breathing? Yes. Good. Sit a little bit back. Try not to let the fact that you have rain contact, like, throw it away. Keep the rain contact. Steady, steady, steady. Whatever number it is. If it's a one or a two, that's fine. Don't try to give, give, give more. Stay, stay, stay. Take this force forward into rising and add more power. Super. So what happened to your hands there? Yes, you, you, you dropped the connection, yep, quite a bit. You can stay at a one. I don't care what number it is. It can be very light, but don't throw it away to a zero. Yeah, good job. Think about thrusting up to where you could thrust your hands from your, thrust your hips into your hands. Don't let your hands go more forward. Keep them there. Thrust your hips to your hands. Yeah, that's okay. Give her a tap tap. Yep, and now thrust and hold, and thrust and hold, and fingers stay closed. It's a scientific fact that if your fingers are open, it's a lot harder to engage your core. So if you close your fingers, not a death grip, but you keep your fingers closed, your core can stay engaged more. Yeah, I don't know. Some scientists <laughs> figured that out. Good. Fingers thrust. Well done. And you look like you're thrusting better when you close your hands. Slow the hydraulic rising. Slow her trot down to walk. And then you're going to sit back. You're going to bear down. 
and you're gonna match your path. Very smooth looking, very good. And if you imagine you're sitting on a yoga ball that's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing along, you want to stay on top of that yoga ball, keep your thighs attached to that yoga ball so the ball doesn't shoot out in front of you. Or sometimes in your case, you could get in front of it and the ball could go up behind you. So sit back a little bit. There we go, you keep engaging your core, your thighs stay attached to the yoga ball and you keep your elbows bent. Good. And you say bounce, bounce. Not that I want you to bounce, bounce, but I want you to think about up, down, up, down. You are bouncing on the yoga ball. Good. Staying right in the center of it. Good job. Good job. Well done. Super job. Well done. Bear down. Thighs attached to the ball as you bounce, bounce, bounce. Hands down. Keep your elbows bent. And a little tap, tap, tap. Build her up, build her up, build her up. Good. Sit back. Good. I do like that you're not getting left behind, but you do need to stay back a little bit more to make sure you're not getting in front of her. Good, good. Sit back, keep those flashlights pointing down. Good, elbows down, hands down. Good, pockets. Good, what's your bear down number? Okay, can you go four or five? Yep. Good, elbows down. Good, that's really good there, really good. Keep your hands. Fingers stay closed. As you push against your core, sit back, keep your elbows down, hold the cube steady. So really keep this like, go for it. And if you start to feel like um, that you're at a eight or a nine, your max capacity for how difficult this is getting, then just come back or go to rising or change something. Because if you feel like it's slowly slipping and you just don't have the power to keep it, well just change, yep, exactly. Because there's no sense in continuing something that you get more and more sloppy at because it doesn't build the correct muscle. Good, elbows, fingers closed, and heavy elbows, that's right. And you sit on those pockets, and you send her up underneath of you and send her forward by you sitting back a little bit. Keep those elbows. Leg tap, tap, leg tap, tap, bend your elbows, hands down. Good, that's it, hold that there, hold that there. Keep those elbows, keep those fingers, keep that seat bones, good. And now we go rising trot. Keep the elbows. Good. Keep the elbows. Hands stay down. That's right. And you big thrust, hydraulic rise. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Power on. Tap, tap. Bear down. Big thrust. If she starts to slow down and you're doing the work for her, exactly, you get after her. Good. I want you to do your job and she does her job. Good. Heavy elbows, hands stay still as you thrust, thrust, thrust. Good job. And I want you to bear down more, close your thighs more, sit back and walk without using your hands. Yeah, it doesn't take much. <laughs> well done, super job. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna remember those things. Good. I really appreciate that, that was great. Thank yeah, you so you're much. welcome. Really Very good. That. Good for you, Zoe.